All right, guys. So I know you guys are probably wondering what all this is. Know you, what you guys are thinking. The title says One Mad Fish. I understand that. I know you guys are trying to figure that out. But you got to stay till to the end, and then it'll make sense. See you there. Well, this is a company I met <laughs> about a year ago. And uh, I, I... Okay, just spit it out already. I, I, I... Jeez. I seen this at a, a, actually it was a small frag swap. And um, so I went by, I, I recorded, you know, did a, I think I was live actually. Were you live or not? I was live. And uh, yeah. And I thought this was pretty cool. Well, ended up this year at uh, Aquashella running into them again and uh, I must say I wanted to uh, make my frag system look pretty so I thought he had a pretty neat concept so I'm going to put these things together now one thing I could say now this still got its plastic on for real I think we can all see that can we get to the point but these things push together and they, they lock in place, okay? And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. So, let's get to it. We got a lot of to pill. So, what I like to do first is put this video on pause, pill all this stuff off, because at the end of the day, it's gonna be really time consuming. At the end of the day, can you just please explain what we're watching? Okay. Uh, just because there's a lot to pill and you don't want to leave the plastic on anyway, right? I, I don't think we do. But, uh, yeah, we want to get all this stuff done and uh, make this video as painless as possible for you guys that like for people to just get to the point. But, uh, so, yeah, so it's going to look like this. It's going to look like this once we remove all the plastic. This is acrylic, obviously. Man, is that guy gifted to figure out what that stuff's made out of. Jeez. Um, so, let's get to it. And I'm going to show you and give you my final thoughts on this build here of what I want to say, uh, frag tank holder. I think what he meant to say is a frag rack system. So, let me get to it. We'll be right back. All right. Now that we got all pilled. Did I hear that right? Did he say we had it all pilled? Well, that doesn't look right to me, so why is he wasting my time? He didn't pill it all. If he pilled it all, why is there still paper still on this thing? What's up with this guy? But this side here... We'll get this off real quick. And, uh, yeah, now that we got this all, this is how it comes. So, you know, uh, just to protect your nice, shiny frag rack, which won't, if you're doing things right, it won't be shiny for long. You'll have a bunch of coralline algae growing on it in no time. Um, so, yeah, but, uh, just a protection, you know, ain't nothing like having something, you know, all beat up. You don't want that. So, we have certain legs. They, there are certain sizes you can go with and, you know, stuff like that. So, these are going to go here. And what they do is they pop down in there. And I don't know if you can tell. I know it's kind of far away, but there's little hooks here that that lock on so what I thought about doing is building my stuff taking my arms so these are smaller holes what I did realize is you have a fatter hole this is really getting deep I don't know what's wrong with this guy I, I have no idea no idea to get to 
of these inside to create the other side. What I mean by that is you're going to take your first hole here and make sure you squeeze it together and it locks in place just like that. So locks in place. Then this other one's got the bigger hole. You're going to squeeze together, pop that in, and that creates another space to get another one of these. Did he just explain how to get his buddy in there too? Cross bracings inside there. So once again, just squeeze here, bam. Where am I supposed <laughs> to squeeze? And it locks just like that. And then we'll do our last one here. Boom. So here it is. So we can put our stuff in here like that. Down, down, and down. Flip her over. Push out. Bam. It's locked. There is one tray. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. This guy just demonstrated how to share buddy pop lock snap and drop all in one video Woo! is this guy good i mean this is like one two three four five six seven eight is that eight that way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen this way eight this way now, is there any way that you're able to total that up so we know exactly how many holes that is? Um, that's a lot of frags. I really mean, think he meant frag hose, and we all know that we love our hose. So, let's continue to build. I kind of want to just show you, man. I, I Look at this. This is really, really, really nice. It's a nice setup. Your cross to keep to support there um it's it's really nice it's it's really clean i don't know if you guys are you know anybody's really interested in this now i'm gonna leave the uh business card at the end of this video where to uh find this guy i guess we get to go on a scavenger hunt um to get the information and it ain't just this he's got magnets trays different all kinds of stuff he provides so with that being said, I have to grab the rest of them. Hold on. Well, we're about seven minutes and some odd seconds into this video already. Can you please hurry up? Or it can be short. These are the one inch, so meaning shorter. They got a two inch all the way up to, I forget exactly what. I just don't understand how are you talking about this product and you don't even know the different leg sizes that it comes with. But uh, yeah, okay, so with this one here, we have a cutout for the weir. So there's a, a part here, but there's nothing here. So this has to go to here and then here connect here with cross members. Is this guy playing connect the dots or connect four? I can't tell at this point. Okay, so for that one, it's obviously going to be different. So, hopefully we are picking this up on camera. Yes, we are, thankfully. So, there we go, just a little more. So this is a single leg that goes here, and then we're gonna run across for that. Now, when I notice the difference between the leg here and the leg here, there's a cutout here for this section there. It doesn't have it on these other ones, so you need to make sure and pay attention that you'll have that. So this would go here and lock in. So let's do that right now. Boom. So we can see what we're doing here upside down. Okay. Now, do we use a, another, uh, that one here? At this point, I'm about 10 minutes in. Ain't that your job to tell us what we need? 
I don't know what you need, so why are you asking? We can we can use our no or not. So what I decided to do is just use a normal one here, and then we'll put a cross member there. Meaning we're just gonna go here and snap. Because these ones don't have any of that side cut right there. So hopefully I'm doing this right. I do believe I am. So there we have it. Here's our tray. So we'll go in here. Our, is that the one too long? Let me see. Is these longer than the other one? Okay, so this one's going to be a shorter one. Sorry. Did this guy just ask himself a question and answer his own question? Didn't realize it. This is a shorter piece here, and there's a longer brackets here. I didn't catch that. You might want to try to run through this before you make a video next time. So you got to squeeze. These ones are a little harder, but squeeze. Utilize the shorter one here. Squeeze. Hot. All right. Now that's more like it. Boom, boom, and boom. Flip over, and it's all in place. Look at that. So that's what we have right there as far as the tray. I did do this upside down, so I have to redo this. <laughs> no, it's not okay. Okay, because this brace should be up against this. So once again, you can pop these out just like that. Which is a good learning, so you guys know, this is my first time too. Your that's first what, time, really. That's what she said. Flip this around, squeeze, pop. And squeeze, pop. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. There we go. So... See how that is? Resting up against there. You want that resting up against there. So there's that tray. Now, I have to flip it around because my overflow box is this way and the other one. But you get what I'm saying. So if you had your overflow box that way on this end, there you go. You can flip it around. There you go. For me, we're going to have to, once again, flip it the other way. So I need it exactly this way, so the legs will have to go, you know, this way. So, now for this, we just have to undo this, here, and here. Take this, turn it around this way. Boom, so you get it there. You see how easy this is? It really is simple and easy. You can play with it. Yeah, you only been playing with me for 17 minutes. Do all kinds of things to fit what you need. Boom, locked in place, ready to go. There's my weir there. So here's the front, just like this. That's the front panel. We'll have this panel here, and this will take care of the Deep Blue 60, just like that. So there is the complete deep, deep Blue 60 look. Let's look at it. Look at that. Tell me that's not awesome. That is, that is nice. Now, it's obviously, it's a table, so it's a little off. So you've got one, one leg, a little cockeyed. But that is a lot of frag plug holes. So let me know what you guys think when it comes to this. And I'm going to show you a quick glimpse of it with corals on it in the frag system. Also, real quick before we go, I wanted to show you that there does come in different heights, as you can see here. Okay? So, this one goes for that. Okay? Or if you want to make one higher than the other, you also have this guy here. So, let me just slip this guy together for you real quick and show you what this guy looks like so you can have higher so 
Let's just say you want to put that there, but you want a higher rack for whatever reason. Take notes, guys. It comes in all shapes and sizes. You can do this as well, which I think I'm going to do. Keep one higher just for whatever purposes that I need. So, as you guys can see here, those are your options as well. You can have them flat or stepped. All right, everyone, so these frag racks, let me turn this around and show you exactly what they look like before we end this video. All right, here is the frag racks in place. Don't mind the noise making water right now. So as you can see, here's the height and everything. So I, I love the way they look, to be quite honest. I love the design, love everything about it. I've already created frags. These are ZOA, some chalices in the back, extra frag plugs just laying around, more ZOAs, uh, Duncans, uh, play coils, uh, Lobos, everything, some, some uh, SPS in the back, uh, leather coral there. So here you go. This has different levels here. No lights over this tank, but as you can see, I got one height there and then equal across this one sorry for the glare as you can see how it wraps around my weir there like I said it's bad lighting but just wanted to show you guys so guys please uh, go check that that out I left a you know business card so you guys can check it out it works out great for me it might work out great for you but hopefully you enjoy sorry for delays on videos and getting stuff out to you guys in a timely manner, but I've just been really busy. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.